Hello, everybody. Come on in. Welcome to the classroom and welcome to the new home of our live show over here at Super Simple Play. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm really excited to see all of you. Ooh, check this out. I'm using this pie plate and this little ball to see how the earth moves in outer space. Outer space is so big. There's lots of planets and billions and billions of stars. It's really incredible. And our planet Earth is a part of it. Let's pretend that this is our home, planet Earth. The Earth spins in outer space like this, spinning round and round. But it also moves around the sun. The sun is the center of our solar system right there in the middle of the solar system. And the Earth moves around the sun like this. It spins around and moves around the sun at the same time up there in outer space. It's happening right now. Can you feel it? <laughs> we can't feel the Earth spinning because it moves at the same speed all the time. And we're so used to it, we don't even feel it but it's happening right now out in outer space. There's all sorts of amazing things happening in outer space. Sometimes when we look to the night sky, we can see those things like the moon and the stars. Sometimes we might even see a shooting star. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? I think I saw one, a shooting star, wow. All the night stars, the stars that come out at night, they're all so beautiful, aren't they? And so are all of you, inside and out. Let's give all of our beautiful friends a big wave, hello. I see we got Catherine and Chris in Lebanon, and Georgia and Carter are here, and Teddy and Henry from Ohio. Let's give all of our friends a big hello. Let's wave our hands and sing. Here we go. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie, what's your name? Shout it out nice and loud so the stars can hear you. Nice to meet you. All right, let's sing hello to some of our friends today. Hello, hello. Hello to Luke and Olivia and their dog, Mac. Hello, hello. Hello to Harshal from Chicago. My name is Katie. What's your name? I see Jacob and Natalie in Pennsylvania and Eddie and Ivy in Ottawa. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. A big hello to all of our friends. Zyra watching in New Market, Annette and Harrison and Baby Russell. I'm so glad that you found us over here on Super Simple Play. This is the new location of our live show. So welcome everybody. Hello to Stormy in Portland, not feeling so well. Hey, did you see another shooting star, everybody? Wow, there's lots of shooting stars out in the sky tonight. That's really special. Let's sing a special song about stars. Can you make some twinkling stars with your fingers like this? Yeah, put them way up high in the sky. Up, 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 twinkling way up high. Let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star together and keep your eyes peeled for some shooting stars. Those are always really special to see. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. Eli 
guys making some twinkling stars. And Holden and Rayleigh are singing along. Can you sing with me, everybody? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle. some shooting stars up in the sky? Eli spotted two shooting stars, wow. Let's sing it one more time all together, everybody. Make some twinkling stars with your fingers like this. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder Everybody. A shooting star. Penelope saw so many shooting stars. Giovanni is singing nice and loud, and Addie is singing along. It's such a beautiful song, isn't it? Just as beautiful as all those stars up in the sky. Wow. Do you ever look up to the stars in the sky and see different shapes? Astronomers do. Astronomers are scientists that study space and stars, and they looked up to the night sky and saw some group, groups of stars that were brighter than others, and they connected those stars to make some shapes and different pictures. And those shapes are called constellations. You may have seen a constellation called the Big Dipper. Yeah, it looks kind of like a big spoon, maybe? You've, maybe you've seen it? There it is. When you connect all the stars together, it makes a shape like a big spoon. Can you see it? There it is. The Big Dipper. That's a very um, popular constellation here where we're from. Maybe you can see it where you are, but depending on where you live, you'll see different stars and different constellations. It's really neat. Let's take a look up at the stars in the classroom and see if we can find some constellations together. Okay, look up high in the sky. Search all around for a bright group of stars. Hmm. Do you see any? Oh, I see a big group of stars. This is called the Great Bear Constellation. So the stars make a bear. Do you see a bear in those stars? Hmm. It can be a little tricky to see. Let's try putting the stars together. We'll connect them together to try and see the shape of the bear. So these are the same stars from the night sky. And we'll connect them to make the bear shape. There we go. Like this. And you have to use a little bit of your imagination. Hmm. What do you think? Can you see the bear? A big bear up in the sky. Do you see it? I think I see it. There's the bear's head and the tail and his legs. Let's take a look back at the stars up in the sky. Can you see the bear shape? I think I see it. 
There it is. The Great Bear Constellation. It's a beautiful constellation up there in the sky. Oh, Penelope can see it now. That's so great. And Eva's looking at the stars. Let's look for another constellation up in the sky. Look up high, way up high into the stars. Look all around for another big, bright group of stars. Ooh, look at this one. This is called the Great Dog, because this group of stars makes a dog shape. Do you see the dog? <laughs> Henry says it kind of looks like a giraffe. Well, let's try connecting the stars and see if we can find that dog shape. So these are the same stars up in the sky. Let's connect them together. Let's see if we can make that constellation. Hmm. Like this. Clarky thinks it's funny to see a bear in the sky. That's really interesting. Can you see the dog? I think I see it. The legs and the tail. Let's take a look at the stars up in the sky. Can you see the dog? I see his head. There it is. The great dog constellation. Nice job, everybody. Woof, woof, says Nora. Annette says it does look like a puppy. And our friend Evangeline says that they see constellations up at the lake. Sometimes getting out of the city where there's a lot of lights, that's a much better place to see stars. When it's darker, you can see all those bright stars really well. Let's take a look for one more constellation, everybody. Look up to the night sky. Search all around for some bright stars. Do you see any big, bright groups of stars? Ooh, look at this one. This constellation is called Lepus. That means rabbit. Can you see a rabbit in those stars? Hmm. Let's try connecting them together. That always helps. So here are the same stars in the night sky. We'll connect them to see if we can find the rabbit. Here we go. Do you see the rabbit? Here are the rabbit's two ears. <laughs> Giovanni sees the bunny. Let's take a look back up to the stars in the night sky. Do you see it? Yeah, Penelope can see the ears. Eleanor, do you see the rabbit now? There it is. Zane sees the bunny. It's a cute little bunny, isn't it? Hop, 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 hop. Nice job, everybody. Constellations are incredible. We have a special worksheet that we put together for you on our website and the link is in the description below so you can connect the stars and make constellations just like this and try it all on your own see if you can find those animals in the stars have you ever tried wishing on a star Ooh, I think I saw another shooting star go by you can wish on big and bright stars some people say you can wish on a star wish for anything you like just look for the biggest and brightest star in the sky. There's even a song about it called Starlight, Star Bright. Let's try singing it together, everybody. And we can wish on a big and bright star in the sky. Ooh, that's a really big and bright star, isn't it? That's the perfect star to wish upon. Let's make a big wish, everybody. Make a wish, everybody. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might have a wish.
wish I wish tonight. I hope all your wishes come true. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might have a wish I wish tonight. <laughs> Jacob's wishing for pizza. Oh, now he wishes to be a scuba diver. Teddy is wishing for more stars. And Liam wishes for ice cream, yummy. <laughs> Giovanni wishes for more wishes, very smart. Vita and Violet are wishing brother Max could come home from school early. That's a nice wish. Let's sing the song all together one more time, everybody. Look at the star and make your wish. Starlight, star bright, first star I see. Wish I may, wish I might have a wish I wish tonight. Very nice, everybody. Give yourselves a big clap. <laughs> Wonderful. Alice is wishing for shoes. Zane wishes for a helicopter. Misha is wishing for a magic wand. Those are all great wishes, everybody. I hope all of your wishes come true. Ooh. I just had an idea with a little bit of a wish. Let's pretend to be astronomers together, yeah? We can search through outer space looking for stars and we can put them together to make our own constellation, yeah? Okay, let's search through outer space. We'll find some big stars to make our constellation with. Ooh, let's pretend this bin of black beans is outer space. It's really dark, like outer spaces. And we can search for stars and make a constellation of our own. Which shape constellation should we make? Hmm, it could really be anything. We could even do maybe, oh, what about a super simple monster? Look at this. <laughs> we can make a monster constellation. Ooh, now this monster will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve stars. Think we can find twelve stars in outer space? Let's go, blast off! Let's take a look. Search for those stars. Do you see anything? I see a star. Look at that, we found our first star. Let's put right up here near the top. Excellent, we're gonna make our very own constellation. Here's another star. Come on out, star. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Edison loves our super simple monster. Look, lots more stars. Found two more. Let's let them shoot over here. Through outer space to the constellation. Search. Penelope sees a pink star. Here it is. This is gonna be a great constellation. Let's keep searching through outer space for more stars. Aha. I see some over here. That one right here. Very nice. A blue star. Right over here. Whoop. Jacob thinks these stars might glow in the dark. I think you might be right, Jacob. Keep searching through outer space. Outer space is so big. Aha. Here's some stars. Keisha has some green stars at home. He sees some pink and blue stars. Jack sees the blue stars. Keisha likes the blue stars too. Here's another pink star right there. We just need two more to finish our constellation. Let's keep looking. Searching through outer space. I spy a 
star. Whoosh. Look at that. One more star, everybody. Let's keep searching through outer space. Sometimes you have to search in outer space for a long time. This outer space is so big. Can we find the other star? Where could it be? I spy the last star of our constellation. We did it! We made our monster constellation! Nice job, everybody! Thank you for helping me find the stars in outer space. Hmm, I wonder what else we could find in outer space. So big, There's so many things to discover. Let's see, what else could be in here? Ooh, look what I found. It's the moon. Lots of stars and a moon. That's just like on planet Earth. We see lots of stars in the sky and one moon. The Bumble Nums made a special trip to the moon once. They were looking for a big piece of moon cheese for their out of this world moon cakes. But how do you think they got to the moon? The moon's so high of an outer space. How could they get there? I wonder. Let's take a look and see how the Bumble Nums made it to the moon for their moon cheese. Come on! The Bumble Nums. Today, the Bumble Nums are going to make out of this world moon cakes. But what's the secret ingredient? One chunk of moon cheese. The Bumble Nums are in the orchard, waiting for the moon to rise high into the sky so they can make their out-of-this-world mooncakes. Right, Grumble and Humble? Yum! Right, Stumble? Yum? Yum! Look, Bumble Nums! There's the moon! And it's full! It's time to get the moon cheese for your out-of-this-world mooncakes. Yum! Remember, Bumble Nums, we need one chunk of moon cheese. Go get it! Yum, yum! yum. 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 Yikes! A Bumble Jumble already? Keep trying! is just too far away. Yum. Yum, yum. What have you got there, Humble? Yum, 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 yum. It looks like leftovers. It's a piece of leftover starlight souffle made from three bright, shiny shooting stars. Yum! Mmm! Three, two, one! Blast off! to the moon. That's one small step for Bumble Nums, one giant leap for Bumble Num kind. of moon cheese. Yum. 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 One. You did it. Now 
now that you have that one chunk of moon cheese, it's time to get back to the Bumble Nums kitchen. Yum. But how are you going to get back home? You ate all the Starlight Souffle leftovers. Yum, yum. Tumble through space. Yeah! Hope you find a soft landing. Great water landing, Bumble Nums. Now let's get that moon cheese back to the Bumble Nums kitchen. Stellar job, Bumble Nums. Do you have the one chunk of moon cheese? Yum! Cheesy! <laughs> now that we have the secret ingredient to make our out-of-this-world mooncakes, it's time for the Cooking Countdown! Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Again. How do they taste, Bumble Nums? Is it out of this world? Num num, yummy, yummy. Way to go, Bumble Nums. You made some amazing mooncakes. Penelope says the Bumble Nums are problem solvers. Yeah, they work together to get to the moon. And Evie says they got there with leftovers. Yeah, those Bumble Nums are always doing things that might work, trying them out. That definitely worked, all the leftovers. Let's see, Giovanni says he'd like to visit the moon one day, just like the Bumble Nums. That'd be amazing. And Mikey and Alice were cheering on for the Bumble Nums to keep trying. Nice job. If you'd like to see more episodes of the Bumble Nums, you can find them on the Super Simple TV channel. There's lots, lots of great ideas for different recipes and lots of fun things happening in the Bumble Nums kitchen. Eli said the Bumble Nums were like shooting stars going through the sky. They really were traveling up to the moon. Hmm. Giovanni says he'd like to try some moon cheese. Hmm. Well, this moon doesn't look that tasty, does it? But the moon and the stars are really pretty to look at. I can show you how I made these moon and stars. It's pretty fun. All you need, I'll put this down here. All you need is a piece of paper and some paints and something that's a circle. I'm using a plate here. I'm gonna put that plate on the white piece of paper and trace it so I have a perfect circle for my moon. There we go. Now we did another moon craft a couple episodes ago. We like the moon here. So now we have our perfect circle. We're not gonna use a paintbrush to paint our moon. We're gonna use aluminum foil, which makes a really cool pattern. Take some aluminum foil and then scrunch it up into a ball. There we go. Then you can use that plate and just squish it down a bit. Squish, squish, squish. Make a little handle. There we go. And this is gonna be our stamp for our moon. So we'll start with a dark color. 
I'm going to use some black paint. And then we want to try some different colors of gray. So we'll add a little bit of white. Boop. And mix it together to make a bit of a lighter black. Just a little bit. That'll be good. Now let's use that tin foil ball. Stick it in the paint. Ooh, gloopy. And we'll use it as a stamp on our moon. Here we go. <laughs> and it's okay if you go over the lines a bit because we're gonna cut it out later. So the fun part is getting all these different colors of gray. And when you want it to go a little bit lighter, just add a little bit more white paint to your black paint. That'll make it lighter. You can mix it together. Mix, 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 mix. Here we go. That'll make a bit of a lighter color. Let's try that one. Stamp, stamp. It's fun stamping with the paint. Boop. There we go. Okay, let's add a lot of white paint. We'll make it nice and lighter gray. There we go. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> there, that's working really well. You see how it's getting lighter when I add some of the white paint? There we go. Now we have a gray. Use the stamp. Boop. Here we go. Some stamp more on our moon. Cool. And the tin foil has all these nooks and crannies and it helps make that helps make the moon look like the uneven surface with all the craters. Add some more white paint. Give it a mix, mix, mix. Henry thinks it's pretty cool. Me too. Mix, mix, mix. Make a nice light gray. There we go. Keisha says, bloop. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Sometimes I make funny sounds when I'm <laughs> using a stamp. There we go. Look, does it look like the moon yet? Let's add a little bit more white paint. Mix it all together. I think this is gonna look really good. <laughs> Lewis is asking where Toby is. Oh, Toby. He's not hanging out with us in the classroom today. Put this in. Ready? Here we go. Stamp! Stamp! Looking good. <laughs> now I have a special silver paint here. Ooh, so we can make our moon sparkle and shine. Add some silver paint. Use our little stamp. Annette says I need to get the middle. You're right. I'm gonna add the silver paint here in the middle. Ooh, look at that. Now the silver paint's got a little bit of shine to it. Do you see it sparkle? Let's add some more. Whoa. I think it looks really great. Nice. So now we have to let this dry. And once it dries, you can cut around the circle to make your moon. So here is a moon that's already nice and dry. This one's got lots of silver on it. Do you see it shining? Wow. And you can use the moon and hang it on a mobile like this, or you can make a night sky for it, which is what we're gonna do together. So we got a black piece of paper, and the moon will fit perfectly on our black piece of paper with a little bit of glue. Keisha says it's so shiny. It really is. Add glue all over our moon. 
turn it over and stick it on. Wow, look at our beautiful moon in the night sky. But we're missing something. What do we need? Stars, that's it. We're gonna use some white paint for our stars. And another kind of stamp. Check this out, we're gonna use a pencil. So the eraser part of the pencil will make some big stars and the pointy edge of the pencil will make some smaller stars. Look at that. Some big stars all over. Woohoo! Down here. Now we can use the sharp edge of the pencil to make some small stars. There we go. Isn't it pretty? You're right, Henry. We need lots of stars in the sky. There's so many stars in the sky, isn't there? There we go. Maybe we could make our monster constellation. This could be the horns. <laughs> wow. I think it's beautiful. Look at our beautiful moon in the night sky, everybody. Yeah, I think the stars look really great. Now you can make some stars like this on our mobile too with some popsicle sticks. I got some popsicle sticks over here that I painted yellow earlier. And I'll show you how I put them together. So start with one stick like that. Lay the other one on top so it makes an upside down V. Next one comes up and across and back down like that to make a big star out of popsicle sticks. And these stick together really well with a little bit of sticky tack. So if you have sticky tack, you can roll into a little ball, put it on the popsicle stick like that and stick it on. And that'll keep it together really nice. Or if you have some school glue, but that takes a little bit more time for it to dry. But once it's all dry and you have your star all together, oh, I put it down here. <laughs> then your star looks like this. And you can add some glitter to it, which of course is very exciting. So I got some glitter here and some glue. And to add glitter to your stars, just take a little bit of glue. You can, you don't even need to put it on a plate. You can put it right on the star. And use a little paintbrush and mush it all around. Mush, 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 mush. And then get your glitter and pour the glitter on. Ooh, I need the, the bigger opening. Ooh, here it comes. Look at that. Look at his shine. So shiny. Should we make the rest of our star shiny? We'll add some glue on all the edges of the star. Paint all over. Julia said she loves glitter. Glitter can be really fun to work with. It could also be very messy. Add the glitter here. There we go. Wow, look at that. Add some more. This is gonna be a very shiny star. <laughs> Once you've made your moon and your stars, you can add them to a mobile, like I did in the classroom, and have it hanging and spinning around. Or sometimes it's just nice to have the stars hanging out. Get rid of all that extra glitter. Whoa. Camilla says it's pretty glitter. Zane likes the star. And Teddy says it's so sparkly. I'm gonna, I'm trying to dump it all on the plate, but it is very messy. Let's take a look at our sparkly star. Whoa. Look how much, it's so much more sparkly. This is the other side. No sparkles, 
all the sparkles. So beautiful. And now it can go over our moon. That would be a big shooting star. You definitely make a really big wish on a shooting star like that. So beautiful. We have all the details on our website on how to make these crafts. We have the link in the description below too. So you can try all this stuff at home. It's really fun to use aluminum foil to dip into the paint and make your moon. So if you try these crafts at home, we'd love to see your pictures of your crafts. And you can send us your pictures a couple different ways. You can send them to me on Instagram. I'm at Super Simple Katie. Or on Facebook, we have a Katie's Classroom Facebook page, and you can send it through the inbox messages, the, the direct messages there. Or you can send them on our website through our contact page. There's a little place where you can upload your artwork or your photos, and we'd love to see all the amazing work that you do at home. Let's take a look at some of the photos that you sent in this past week. It's our friend Ashley from Canada. And look, Ashley has a braid in her hair, just like me. Looks beautiful, Ashley, I like your braid. Sienna and Branson from Costa Rica are watching the dance episode. That was a really fun one. Ella from the USA is hanging out and dancing with us on the dance episode. Hi, Ella. Ariana and Alexis from the USA are ballet dancers. Look at their amazing moves. I love dancing ballet with you. And Everly and Zoe from the USA, look at those awesome guitars that they have. Rocking out with the music episode. Thanks for sending in your photos, everybody. We always love seeing what you're up to at home. I think it's really special to see what you're, what you're doing. I really like to see them. So please send in your photos and maybe you'll see them on the show next week. We're gonna be back next week right here on Super Simple Play on Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please join us again for more fun in the classroom. We got lots of exciting things planned. And speaking of exciting things, after we sing our goodbye song, stick around, because we're gonna show you a great episode from Captain Monsterica. Captain Monsterica and the Purple Protector go into outer space and they travel around the planets and the stars and learn all sorts of amazing things in outer space. So stay, 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 stay tuned afterwards to learn a little bit more and we'll sing a big goodbye to all of our friends. Let's wave and sing everybody. Addie's excited to make the star. I'd love to see your star, Addie. All right, everyone, are you ready to wave your hands? We'll sing a big goodbye. Let's wave and sing. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Carly and Emma and baby Catherine in Lebanon, our friends Mikey and Alice and Giovanni. I had a great time with you too. Goodbye to Sierra and baby brother Chester. Goodbye to Sanchit, Melanie, Amy and Aaron and Kayla from Mexico. Goodbye to Zane from Taiwan, a big bye bye to you. And Henry from Woodbridge and Kira from Kansas. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Addie and Johnny, Layla, Lucy, Caleb, and Arela from Wisconsin. Goodbye to Hedia, Ali, and Rahman from Saudi Arabia. Goodbye to Georgia, Georgia and Carter. Goodbye to Kyle and Stephanie in the Philippines. Goodbye to Julia in the Netherlands and Brody and Travis from New York, Kesha from India, Annette and Harrison for hanging out with their cousin Henry today. Really nice, hello to Henry too. Goodbye to Calvin and Ruth in Orlando, Freya in Alabama and the twins Vida and Violet. A big wave goodbye to you. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Lauren from Georgia, USA, and Jaden from Oklahoma. Goodbye to David and Silas. Goodbye to Jose from Mexico and Frankie and Braun. Goodbye to baby John in California and Reem from Newark. Goodbye to Eli in South Africa. See you later, Eli. Goodbye to Harshil and Lewis and Henry and Anna from Edmonton. Goodbye to Monica in Italy 
and Evie and Clarkie in Texas, Sebastian and Bryce in Trinidad and Tobago, goodbye to Teddy and a blah, 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 blah to you, baby Henry. <laughs> Goodbye to Davey and Bento from Brazil and Isabello from Brazil. Goodbye to Jonah and Cristiano from Trinidad and Tobago and Camilla in San Antonio. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to David in Texas and Caleb and Chloe, Sen from New Jersey, Drake and Kevin in Glasgow, Scotland, Audrey Wren in Arkansas. Nice to see you, Audrey. Goodbye to Daniel, Mateo, and baby Samuel in Canada. Goodbye to Olga in Russia. Goodbye to Zara. Goodbye to Jaden and Holden, Jordan and Antoinette, Nicholas from Brazil, Pedro, Valentina, Gabriel and Enzo in Brazil. Lots of friends watching today, everybody. Let's sing goodbye one more time. Give a big wave. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Bye everyone. Goodbye Ada in the Ukraine and Anthony from Mexico. I had a lot of fun with you today. Make sure to stay tuned for the Captain Monsterica episode to learn more about outer space. And we'll see you next week for more fun in the classroom right here on Super Simple Play. Bye everybody. Captain Monsterica, the hero you need. He's got super strength, super sight, super speed. Purple protector, he fights at his side. Taking on bad guys wherever they hide. So whether the problem is big or it's small, if you need a hero, you know who to call. They're Captain Monsterica and the Purple Protector. the city once again, I present the key to the city to Captain Monsterica! <laughs> oh, and you too, of course, Purple Protector! Yay! Protector? Uh, can I have your autograph? Me? Really? Uh, I mean, of course! Anything for a fan! Now, who should I make it out to? Hmm? Oh, my balloon! My balloon? Hmm, uh, I've never heard that name before. Don't worry, little monster. The purple protector can rescue your balloon. Right? Oh, right. <laughs> Come on, Captain Monsterica. There's not a moment to lose. How high is this balloon going to fly? Something tells me that the answer to this will be... Out of this world! Whoa! Where are we? This place is... big! It has so much... space! Outer space, to be exact. Whoa! What's that? Purple Protector! Where are you going? Wow! What's this, Captain Monsterica? Why, that's a planet! There are nine of them in our solar system! Despite what some people may think, this one is named Mercury! It's the closest to the sun and floats around it in a close orbit. Floats? Oh no! The balloon! Oh, we lost it! Don't worry! Let's keep looking. I bet it'll be close to one of the other planets of our solar system. This is Venus. Whew, it's so hot. But there's no sign of the balloon. Let's try the next planet. You know this planet, right, Purple Protector? Of course, that's 
depth earth. Oh, and I can see my house from up here. Hi, Mobster! Hi, Popster. Mars! It's so red! Jupiter! It's so big! What? What's this one? This is Saturn! Oh, Saturn is tiring! This one is so cloudy! This is Uranus! Neptune! Ooh, it's so stormy! Ooh. And finally, Pluto! Oh, I like this one! It's so teeny tiny! Huh? Captain Monsterica! Incoming! Look out! Oh, that was close! Wait! That was the balloon! It was stuck on one of those space rocks! Those aren't just any space rocks! Those are asteroids! Oh no! They're headed straight for Pluto! We have to do something! All right, Purple Protector, you grab the balloon while I take care of the asteroids! You got it, Captain Monsterica! Whoa, it worked! You stopped the asteroids, and I got the balloon! Of course! The secret to any successful rescue is that you have to plan it! Plan it? I don't... Uh... Oh, plan it! <laughs> Captain Monsterica! I get it! There you go! Safe and sound! Thanks, Purple Protector! <clears throat> oh, and you too, Captain Monsterica! Another job well done, Purple Protector! It really was an out of this world adventure! <laughs> 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 Ooh!